Hopefully I don't clap too loud. I'm also gonna pull out my earphones because I really don't need them right now. Uh, wow, uh, welcome to OSL season four. So, I guess introductions, I'm Jay, if you didn't know. But here's a bit of context. Um, so season four, OSL is a private draft league and I played in the first two seasons. I kinda got, I lost in the semis in the round one of the playoffs. And then season three, I actually took a break. I was like, I won't play this season, just kinda wanna like, just view it from an outside perspective. And I kind of did kind of like a recording role last season. Like I kind of looked, I kind of did my own power rankings and all that, so that was kind of fun. I think people enjoyed it. But this season, we're a coach again, and we're a coach with Toronto Flackies. Uh, the week, the season has started, kind of like we're kind of in the middle of season one. But I kind of wanted to do this because I thought these kind of videos are also kind of interesting because it kind of gives you a mind into like what people think about when drafting. So I thought it'd be nice. But yeah, also I have like notes on this end, so. Yeah, like, I'm just kind of doing this a bit rough, but hey. Uh, yeah, I think, let's just get into it. Just into the draft. So, our thing was a hybrid draft. So, there's, um, tiers. So, you can see tier 1 through tier 5, two tier 3s, that's not a mistake. And then four free picks, but those free picks are based on points. And each tier kind of has a point value. Like tier one is 180, two is 120, three is 100, four is 60, five is 40. And you get 400 points. So 400 points is kind of like three tier four, sorry, four tier threes. But I, can, I think it's also one from every other tier that's not tier three. So it kind of evens out as like two from each tier. And megas have a point value attributed to them, which can like either decrease or increase your points. Because like, the better Megas will like give you minus 20 points. You only have 380 to work with, while like weaker Megas will give you points to like use. So yeah. Uh, 16 teams, and honestly, I didn't care where, where I was put in position, because I think I just kind of like go in like, with whatever, whatever I feel. Well, we got position three, which is kind of interesting. Because when I was looking at it, I'm like, okay, there's three Pokemon I wanted to use, and that made that worked out. Just because, let's say, two of them got sniped, or were first and second, then I got the third position. Uh, I think the first two Pokemon were Torn T and Dragonfold, so none of my Pokemon got sniped because my Pokemon were the one I wanted to use, but for my first pick were Heatran, Lando, and Clefable. And I think all three of those are kind of like defensive glue mons in a sense where it's kind of like it can really hold a team together in the sense that he traded great steel type magma storm trapping lando's kind of lando clef's also clef so i was kind of debating between the three and i went up ended up going with clefable for i guess the third overall pick what's there to say about clef you know um teleport this generation helps it a lot has wish has rocks fairy typing is great um can run setup as well but you know, I'm probably gonna lean more into the soft-boiled wish kind of sets, so. But yeah, honestly, Clef kind of fits every team. You can kind of make it work on every team. Like maybe like the non-specialized teams, like if I was running hyper-offensive, you probably don't want Clef, but like every other team, it should work. So yeah, Clef felt like a really solid pick for number three. And also like, by, by the way, for like this whole breakdown, I'm not gonna reveal everything. I'm just gonna try and make it as like simple and basic as possible because I gotta keep some stuff to myself. Some stuff to myself, right? So, not gonna reveal everything, but hey, just like a nice, like, I guess, in depth analysis of the team. So, being the third pick out of 60 teams, kind of have to wait a long time, especially in Snake Draft, because it goes like throughout one order and then goes reverse the other order. So, it's the third pick in round one, but I was the third last pick in round two. So, for my next pick, honestly, sorry, I'm like a bit congested, but. Honestly, um, a mod I thought it gets um, picked, but I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna pick this mod up because I love using this mod. And that mod is Gliscor. So, Gliscor, ground flying, kind of a mini Lando for some reason. For some reason? I meant to say reason and people, but for some people. But I think for others, it actually is quite different. Like, Poison Heal gives it recovery and also it has Roost. Has defog like Lando does now, but Lando is a bit more offensive. Well, I think Gliscor can be offensive. It's a bit more on the defensive side, which I kind of like more. Has U-turn, can set up rocks itself, which is great. Good defensive typing, blocks a Volt Switch, uh, blocks. I'm trying to think what else. Fighting types, even though Clef already does that, but hey. 
works out. And honestly, I love the first two parts so far. I even joked around in the Discord that, geez, what's wrong with my... Sorry, but yeah. I even joked around that I was like, hey, uh, I'm gonna build stall. Because honestly, these two months have been installed very well. Yeah, honestly, because because of a snake draft, and because I picked so late in round two, I was picking very early in round three. And actually, at this point, I was thinking about a dragon. And the thing, and the reason for that is actually because of Glizzcore. Because Glizzcore is four times new to ice, and a lot of dragons, especially like ones that are popular, I would say, are four times new to ice as well. Take something like uh, Salamence, Dragonfly. Take something like Garchomp, Dragon, Dragon Ground. Like, they're all weak four times new to ice. So I wanted to pick a dragon early on, so I have a good dragon that wasn't also four times weak to ice. And I wanted a dragon that was also, had good utility, because I can take something like Kingdra, right? Kingdra is not four times weak to ice, it's actually neutral to ice, which is pretty good. Um, it gets Rain Dance, or it gets Swift Swim, and can run in the rain. And it also gets Dragon Dance with like Sniper, which is kind of interesting to me. But I think for a tier two mod, I think it's like, okay, this is really good in rain. We're gonna put it in tier two. And also, by the way, for the drafting system, there's like, some slight co complex bands, like no Libero Cinderace, but you can use Cinderace. But for the most part, it's just kind of like Nap decks. That's why there are Megas involved. But... Also, no Z moves, that's a big thing as well. But yeah, so I wanted a dragon that had utility that wasn't four times weak to ice. And so for my next pick, I picked up Dragalge. I don't know why I said that word, but Dragon type, not weak, to, not four times weak to ice, which is a good thing. Um, Dragon Poison, really good stab combo, in IMO, and then it has coverage for like something like Steel types. Because um, against fairies you can't use Poison types when you can't use like Draco Meteors. Um, gets Flip Turn this generation, so that's a nice move for it because it gains momentum now. And also gives me a T-Spikes option, which I really enjoyed. Um, so, looking into it, at this point, right, because now I have to wait a long time for my next pick. And I wanted, I was thinking about getting a fast one because I was like, I'm gonna need something over 100 speed at this point. The light score is at 95 and the other two are like under 60, or like max 60. Base speed that is. And actually at this point in time, I'll say this much and I'll kind of hint at it towards the end, but I kind of wanted another tier one mod that was fast. And I was like, okay, this mod might not be taken. So I'll take it later on. So I can pick up other stuff so I don't get sniped there. But yeah, um, I was actually looking at the Mega at this point, and because it was the fourth round, I'm kind of picking kind of late in the round, and I was like, okay, this might be sniped, but it won't, might not be. But I, was, I had two in mind. I had two Pokemon in mind for a Mega. One was actually Mega Slowbro, which is something I wasn't considering at first, but I was like, it having Regenerator at base might be really good, because you don't have to Mega Evolve right away. And it gets Teleport as well, gets Slack Off, Calm Mind. I love the Calm Mind block set, which I think is kind of funny. But I thought Mega Slowbro could be a really good bulky water to have. But then another mod that I wanted from the beginning was actually Mega Manectric. Because it was a fast pivot. Um, it was an electric type. And that's basically it. It's fast, has great special attack. So I was like, hmm, between the two, what do I want? And looking at the board, I was actually more scared of being sniped for a fast electric type, which I think is rude really good for a team, like stuff like Zero Aura, Tapu Koko, even Reggie Lucky can be really good to a team. But I wanted that fast pivot, so I did end up going with, oh, let me see, Mega Main. Because, yeah, honestly the reasons I said, like, the Intimidate is also a nice bonus. Having Hidden Power allowed in this draft also I think makes it better, because you can't run something like HP Grass or Ice, and then I get the Volt Switch, is fast, strong, basically what I wanted. And my next pick, just to make up for the fact that I didn't get Mega Slowbro, I actually picked up a Bulky Water, and I went with Gastrodon. And the reason why, actually why I went with Gastrodon in Tier 3 is because there was actually a few mods in there that I've, like, uh, like that are Bulky Waters. I think there was, like, Empoleon, Quagsire, Vaporeon. I actually used Quagsire and Vaporeon in my first two seasons of OSL, so I don't know what it is, but I was kind of like, let's not pick them. Let's try something new, right? Because I don't, I don't know, maybe that's, like, the beauty of draft leagues in a sense. Like you can choose different mods and like try out different mods that you usually wouldn't use. So I was like, hmm, maybe 
Empoleon, maybe Gastrodon. Empoleon does give me the Steel type. But I want Gastrodon because I think it kind of gave me kind of a middle ground between something like Quagsire and Empoleon. It gave me a bulky water, but I think it's more offensive than Quag. And also it gets recovery, which Empoleon actually doesn't get, which kind of, I don't know, I think it kind of dissuaded me, dissuaded me from picking it at that point. Because I was like, mm, I kind of want something that, that can like just sit there and recover and Gastrodon just has recovery, it has stuff like clear smog as well to like stop deter um, setup sweepers, has storm drain, so I have like a clear water type check. So yeah, we went with the slug. And here's another thing as well for Gastrodon, before I move on. Um, also, I I'm looking at the time and this is going to be so long, I hope I don't make it that long. But Gastrodon... Four times a week to grass, Gliscor four times a week to ice, and HP ice and HP grass are probably the one of the more common hidden powers, so it's kind of interesting to see what people will bring against me to like beat Gastrodon or beat Gliscor. So next on my radar was actually a fire type, and here I actually had a few choices as well. Um, I was between Moltres, Charizard, and Entei. Um, Charizard? stood out for being tier 4 compared to the other two being in tier 3, so I thought it was great value. Charizard is actually something I wanted in Season 2 of OSL, but I didn't get sniped on that. Moltres seems like a better Charizard in the sense that I think it has better defensives, better ability to use generally, because it, it has Flame Body and Pressure as well. Fl pressure is a, pretty, a really good ability. Um, you know, still gets Roost, still gets Defog, to my knowledge, and then, you know, still Fire Flying type. So I thought Moltres is probably the better Mon, that's why it is a tier higher. But also Entei. Entei actually intrigued me, because I actually wanted to run something called Vente, and if you know what that is, you'll know. If you don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> but I think Entei is more kind of confided to, like, that physical extreme speed, sacred fire kind of role, so I kind of ruled that out. And then I was like, you know what, let's go for the value, and because I needed the tier 4, I went with Charizard, and Charizard, I think, especially with heavy-duty boots, you know, it, like, goes up in usage, like, yeah, I have to be worried about knockoff, but I can play around it. Gets Defog, gets Roost, can run special or physical, which would be kind of interesting, which I think is kind of, like, a nice part. Like, when I said, what I said about Gliscor, it can run, like, just Roost, like, bulky or different sword stance. I think Charizard can maybe do a bit of the same. So, yeah, happy to pick this mod up. And, yeah, it gives me two flying times, but they're actually weak to water not like a flying type weakness actually because like not electric ice or rock it's like water type they're both weak to and i have grass on for that so it works out and then since i had another tier pick like quite early i was like hey let me draft my tier five because everyone has to draft a tier five and we might have to draft more than one so i was like no one else has drafted a tier five yet so let me grab what i want because it might be good to grab now and just not be left with like whatever's left over because tier 5 is like the biggest pool and it's like kind of the pool with the weakest mons so let's pick what i want now and the mod i actually wanted was sock which may seem kind of weird but here's the thing i wanted a fighting type and i'm like okay i can get a lot of fighting type value in the lower tiers because they're more abundant there it's something like Sock was there, Primeape was there, Passimian was there. Passimian's tier 4, Gallade's tier 4, I think. And I initially thought about Passimian because I think it's the best mod out of the four because it's fast, has more power than something like Primeape. Both get U-turn between those two. And like, I think Passimian has the better coverage. And I don't know what, I don't know if Primeape gets close combat. It might be weird, but I think it might just get cross chopped. But because it was tier 4, I kind of dissuaded from Passimian. And I looked at Salt because even though it's slower than Primate, I think it's stronger, has knockoff, and I like its abilities a lot. It has Moldbreaker and Sturdy. So I go to a Moldbreaker Mon for like, I don't know, maybe Levitate. Like if I Earthquake on Rotom, I can do that. And it doesn't have momentum, but I think I can bring it in and go for like, I don't know, Scarfed Close Combat if I want to. So. Picked up Song at the end of the day, and I'm really happy with that tier 5 choice. Now, my next pick wasn't for a while, but actually, for the first time in this draft, I didn't know what I wanted to pick. I had, like, again, I kind of knew what I wanted for a tier 1 mod, and it with Mega and Manectric giving me plus 20 points. Besides the tier 1, I had technically like 240 points to work with for 3 mods. Oops, sorry about that. 
So I think between that, it was mainly like, do I get a tier two and two tier fours, or do I get two tier threes and a tier five? And actually one mod I was looking at was Meloetta in tier three. But the thing is, I didn't know what other tier three mod to pick up. So I kind of kept that in the back of my head. And I was kind of like, it might get picked up. So I was like, not that confident in picking it up. But I went with the tier two, the one tier two and one tier, and two tier four option. And my next pick, I'm not like 100% happy with, but I think it kind of helped me with some weaknesses. It kind of helped me with some resistances. That's the main thing. So we picked up Bisharp in tier two. Dark Steel, um, I kind of wanted a Ghost Resist and Ice Resist mainly. It kind of fit both of those boxes pretty well because Dark Steel type. So yeah, you know, it gets Pursuit because we learned some most cut moves. Um, Sucker Punch still has Swords Dance, Iron Head. It gets Stealth Rocks to my knowledge. So I do have another Rocker on the team, which can be kind of interesting. But yeah, I was looking at it, I'm like, let's try it out. I might drop Bishop, but who knows? Maybe it's like, it becomes a key factor later on. Because it also has Sucker Punch, and my team wasn't that great with priority at that point. So I was like, okay, let's pick it up. And from here on out, I was like, okay, I know my tier one mods, so I need tier two, two tier fours. So because I had such a quick pick, like five picks later, I was picking again. I was like, okay, between the two tier fours I want, let's pick up the one I think is gonna be sniped more. And it kind of helped me round up some types I was missing on my team. We picked up Crustle. And Crustle, you know, Stealth Rocker, Spiker. Well, you just saw me spill tea all over myself, but I'm gonna do the rest of it with a tea bark. With a little spill bark on myself, but hey. Crustle, I mentioned with the hazards, can be a suicide lead, but also has shell smash, which is a huge thing. And I think rock type is a really good top type to have in draft league. Bug type is like whatever, but I think the rock typing might work really well. Also gives me like a, nor a normal resist, which I guess Bisharp gave as well, but hey, two isn't bad. And now for the other mon that I was thinking about. I, was, I actually wasn't thinking about Crustle too much, but I was thinking about this mon for a long time because I wasn't sure if I wanted to draft it or not. But I did, ended up, I did end up drafting it just because I was like, hey, why not? I picked up Hoopa in tier four. Hoopa's not the fastest mon, but it has high, very high special attack. And I think higher than Mega Manetric. And then also has good special defense and attack as well, which can be kind of tricky as well. Again, like, tricky might be the name of the game here. But I think I liked Hoopa over something like Sigilyph. I really wanted the Psychic type, that's the thing. The Sigilyph is faster, but I think Hoopa's immediate power might be better for me here. And also the Ghost type might actually help, like having a Ghost type stat. Because I think Ghost is probably one of the better offensive types in Draft League, because I honestly thought someone should pick up Spectre here, because I think that mod can kind of run through teams. But of course with like stuff with Pursuit, people probably don't feel like they should bring it, so yeah. Hoopa was my pick, and then finally, the mod that I kind of saved because I was like, okay, it's a tier one, and at that point, kind of around like when I picked up Bishop, I was like, I can leave the tier one for last because I don't think no one else would pick it up because no one else had the points to pick it up at that point. So I was like, okay, let's leave it for last and let's make sure I don't get sniped on other picks. So this is a mod I actually wanted to use since like, what, like round four I mentioned? And that mod is. Cortana. Might be a bit interesting to pick that as your last pick. I think Cortana is a great mod to kind of like pick up just to like, if you need that speed and also that power, because it's tremendously powerful on the, on the physical side. And it kind of makes my speed tiers a bit more different, because I think it's like base 107, and I think my fastest mod, I think my fastest mod was Charizard at that point, at a base 100. So I kind of liked Cartana. I think it pairs well with Clefable as well, because I can like Sacred Swords and Steel types that Clefable doesn't want to deal with, and um, Steel resist the Poison types maybe Clefable doesn't want to deal with either. So I picked up Cartana, and I kind of like the team as it is. But yeah, that's the team. And that's kind of like how I came to pick this team up. Um, overall thoughts, just kind of looking at it right now, I think that. I have varying types, which is good. I have some varying speed tiers. Strong utility, like I have so many knockoff users, it's not even funny. I don't even know how that happened. But yeah, I have a lot of um, 
knockoff users. And then like, I have all the hazards except Sticky Web, which I might need, who knows. I think overall the team is very defensive. I think it has the potential to snowball very quickly. Like I think something like Gliscor can snowball, Bishark can snowball with Sucker Punch, um, Partana, Beast Boost, of course. I think the team can surprise people. Um, so basic, basic weaknesses, I think it's missing a few types. I think normal ice are the ones I'm missing. I kind of wanted the ice type. Uh, at one point, I think before Bishop, I wanted Sneasel because it kind of gave me that dark type that I wanted and also an ice type. But I think it was picked up by someone else. I think Jose picked it up. So yeah, that's unfortunate, but hey, like it happened. So I kind of went with like a different choice there. Like if I picked up Sneasel, I might have not picked up Hoopa in that case. So it might have been interesting. And then I pick up a different tier two. Who knows? I think I have a bit of a weakness to icing ground. I have like some immunities, like I have like Charizard and Gliscor immune to ground. But then stuff like Manetric, Bisharp are weak to ground. Um, ice types, you know, there's a uh, Dragalge, Gliscor, so. And my water type doesn't resist ice, which might be a kind of concerning. I don't know like if I really should have picked up Empoleon instead for that, but hey. I think Gastrodon should work well for most things. And I think overall the team could be slightly faster. That's like the only like, I think that's like my main like, mm, I wish I did this better. So maybe something like Sigilyph was probably the play. But even the free trade period, I'm like, okay, I'll just keep the team as is. I think it's perfect as is. I think it's good as it's not perfect. So yeah, I think the team could be slightly faster, but I think eh, it's not gonna be the end of the world. Now here's an interesting thing. I know my face cam is kind of covering the second half, but hey, we'll leave it as is. But the schedule, so looking at, actually, I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna this face up later, yeah. Let me turn off my face cam first. But yeah, yeah, that's gonna flicker, no worries. Um, schedule. So the thing is, even though we're 16 teams, we're not facing every team once. We're only having a 10 week season into the playoffs. So we don't play every team. And the thing is with the teams I'm facing this season, um, they're tough opponents. Um, I believe I'm facing six out of the 10 people who made it to playoffs last season. Kind of crazy. I think the top three out of the, three out of the top four seeds. So kind of scary there. And then like some, like the other teams like Morgan and the Blackthorn Bullet Club, she's a veteran of the league. So can't underestimate her at all. And then someone like uh, Wham Week 6, Louisville Lele, Wham was top 2 seed in Season 2, and also a coach making a return after a season hiatus. And then someone like uh, Cordy with the Maryland Terrakions, what's it called? That's a team who almost made it to the playoffs last season, so can get kind of crazy. Actually, I think it's 5 out of 6, it might not be 6, 5 out of 8, sorry, not 6 out of 8. I think Anaheim Ar Arcanines is Jose, right? So I think Jose just missed out on playoffs, but it's still like, I'm facing teams that almost made it into playoffs, like just on the fringe of making, uh, making playoffs. So it's, it is kind of scary. And the wild card here is definitely Saish with the Mumbai and Bayleafs, just cause haven't seen him play before. So it's gonna be interesting there, but prediction, I think I'm gonna go maybe four and six to six and four in that range. My hope is gonna be go even. I don't know who I'm going to beat, I don't know who I'm going to lose to, but the hope is to go even, so we'll see if that happens. But yeah, um, that's going to be the video, so longer than I expected it to be, but hey. Um, draft breakdowns can get kind of long, just talking about your thought process, and I ramble. So yeah, um, that's going to be all. Uh, thank you all for watching, uh, leave, let me know any like criticisms, comments. Like, I'm still, I have to work out, like, the face cam thing for, um, showdown. When it happens, like, I usually put it in the top right, but we'll see. But yeah, hey, uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all soon for the week one battle.